farmer says Sask. Wildfires could affect soil and crops for years. The initial fires may be out, but one farmer says it will take years for the land to recover from the wildfires that ripped through southwestern Saskatchewan last month. The fires were fanned by winds measuring up to 130 km per hour and damaged about 34,000 hectares of land, including land belonging to grain farmer Russell Job. It took us back to the 70s, like when we used to have dust storms all over Saskatchewan and stuff like that, Job said. Job, who farms near the community of Burstall, Sask, lost about 60 acres of canola, as well as some grain stored in bins. All of that is covered by insurance. He's more worried about the damage to the land. Job said farmers in the area have been working the land for years, so there would be enough roughage in the soil to prevent the erosion. It took all that away plus a whole lot of the nutrients that were there and stored up, he said. The fires burned off much of stubble in the fields, leaving the land bare and at risk of soil erosion. The wildfire destroyed some of the Job family's bins and grain. Submitted by Catherine Job, now, Job said he expects to have to plant durum wheat the next few years, rather than the better money-making crops like peas and canola. He said durum leaves behind a stubble to help hold the soil in place. You're hurting your bottom line. You're doing what's right for the land, but you're not going to make as much money doing this way, he said. Russell Job Farms near Burstall, Saskatchewan. Submitted by Russell Job, there will be some benefit next year, according to Job, from increased nitrogen in the soil from the fires. But he's worried about the years that follow. Job described the area as a dust bowl. There's a lot of places where there's loose sand there. Kind of like you see in the desert sand, I guess. It doesn't take a lot to make it blow, he said. An abandoned homestead nearby Burstall, Sask, was destroyed in the wildfires that ripped through the area on October 17, 2017. Submitted by Catherine Job.